for each person you should have two goals whichever profession you believe in whichever path you have chosen measure it outside if you are going to be in olympics better go for gold have a mentor called Zakir Khan yes. uh, he's a stand up comic but he's also an intellectual he observes the world and he had a very nice modern take on spirituality he said that these are all psychological solutions for yes. a human beings uh, problems and probably our ancestors our ancients yes. looked at spirituality with that light this was their therapy yes. so we keep talking about like even i'm going through therapy right now it's helping me a lot but for them when there wasn't this concept of therapists they would turn to scriptures they would yes. turn to uh, things that their ancestors wrote in books uh, keeping that in mind so i want to take the conversation to this three versions of a human being theory so they say everyone has three versions of themselves one is what you present in the professional environment mm-hmm. one is what you present in the like social environment and one is what you present uh, at home yes you know there's like three versions of you your friends your professionals and at home but because of the pandemic now there's no social environment yeah 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 and you're left with two versions of yourself the home one which includes you being alone and you being with family okay and your uh, professional self yes I, i think that's actually a big like stark change in human behavior and that's what we can anticipate the question specifically sir is about productivity mm. you know because i feel like everyone's in this strange zone especially when last year the pandemic began people figured that oh if i just work for 5 or 6 hours that's good enough compared to the 9 10 hours you're putting in an office your effective work is 5 to 6 hours so say you begin at 9 am you can actually finish all your work by 3 pm yes max 4 pm 5 pm and you have the rest of the time to yourself mm. um but people are still kind of gauging how to understand how productive they're being everyone's confused and this has led to a phenomenon called languishing okay this is what like a uh, western uh, media calls it so keeping languishing in mind the question is so uh, like uh, maybe the first question to you is on a personal level how do you measure your productivity and the follow up question is how should one measure their productivity okay so i have very clearly sorted out myself in my life i've been very very happy in that first level of productivity is outside and the second level of productivity is inside so i have a measurable tool for that so let me start with outside because the world understands me more from outside so for me how much do i write is a measurement of productivity i'm an author that's what the world knows me for all my chanakya books you know with the pandemic uh, i have written 21 books on chanakya four to be released yet mm. but you know i write every day I write for newspapers, I write for children's magazine, I write poems. If I don't write, and I have a measurable tool, so I need to write at least for two or three hours a day, and I do that consistently, including research articles. Mm-hmm. The second is the inside way of productivity, and that's you know, calmness, non-reaction, and maturity to everybody around. I mean, there are many measurable tools. You know, I got some twenty data points of what I call myself as productive. But the two of them, very prominently, is the kind of uh, writings that I do, and I do that consistently, and the calmness that I have that I've been growing internally. Yeah, I think uh, it's really cool that you split it into two thought processes because one is very subjective to yes. what your profession is. Yes. You know, okay, how much, uh, how many. Uh, pages are you writing every yes, day? I'm yes, assuming. Yes. For me, it's 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 a little random. It it's depending on my own energy and my own creativity on the day, and I'm not able to quantify it. Yes. Yet. But that second point you spoke about is what I find very interesting, and because we're seeing so many rise of mental health issues yes. all over the world. Yes. Here's an exercise that's helped me as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. So everyone's got emotion, and then there's a response to that same emotion. Okay. So the emotion could be anger. Something happens wrong at home. Lots of people are fighting with the parents nowadays. If they're staying with the parents, it's just generational gaps, all that. So anger will rise in every home because you're confined in that same space with the same people. Can you take a step back from your own anger, gauge it, and decide your reaction after gauging it, versus keeping your observation very close to your emotion, seeing the emotion rise, and then using that emotion and reacting? Wow. So it's called creating distance between your perception and your uh, emotion. Pretty much. I read an interesting article from a scientist, and believe me, he is not a spiritual guru. Mm. He's an absolute scientist who works on the brain, and he said, "Death is not real. It's only a mental concept. At the level of consciousness, 
if you go into the level of consciousness you will not understand what is birth or death so let me put a very straight question to you do you remember when you were born does anybody remember it's a concept that has been told by somebody they put in a date and a time and told you but do you remember that when you actually came into the world when the first time so actually speaking when we say we are not born it's true at the conscious level you don't remember your birth and funnily you will never remember your death mm. you died previously you remember that you are born this life unfortunately what is happening is that we are working at a level only at the external or uh, you know dimension mm. i'm not telling that external dimension is not important because that's how you uh, interact with the society Yeah. but having two goals measurable for yourself i think for each person you should have two goals whichever profession you believe in whichever path you have chosen measure it outside if you're going to be in olympics better go for gold mm. but that's one measure but the other measure is also saying that have you evolved consciously with your consciousness and saying that yes i need to get deeper and if you're able to connect both believe me you'll be happy inside and successful outside consciousness goal or the spiritual Absolutely. goal uh, as we call it uh, i think i think the world is waking up to spiritualism and spiritual yes. thoughts so, yes. uh, primarily because the world always begins from a selfish place and if you really deep dive into spiritualism you'll see how much it benefits your mind yes. uh, your perception of the world and therefore your career and every other aspect of life your empathy your relationships etc etc coming back to that that same concept of creating distance between your perception and your emotion yes so i personally feel that when we're talking about productivity from an internal at home perspective if you feel that as compared to this time last year hmm. so say you're in we're in august now august 2021 in august 2020 did you react more was there more anger was there more anxiety versus this year where you feel your karma you're taking some time and one step away from your emotions uh one step away just to kind of give yourself some time and gauge what's happening in your mind if you feel you're doing this more often it's a great measure of internal productivity yes and that's what the world really needs right yes. now yes yes all of us are at home and we have access to the world only through social media only through content uh but there's this whole internal kind of cocktail of emotions going on we're scared about what's happening on the outside we're scared about our own family safety we're scared about our own professional futures yeah all you can do is learn to be calm because that calm and that kind of sthirta that zen mentality will protect you in all those other spheres yes say you have some professional trouble the ability to stay calm will get you through that professional trouble. absolutely see your family has some trouble the ability to stay calm will get you through yes. that trouble yes. so it's very important to give yourself these brain exercises right now and you don't i mean obviously meditation will help a lot uh, in creating that distance between your perception and your emotions but more importantly it's about you being conscious about working on your brain if you don't want to meditate right now don't but at least start being conscious of gauging your own mind and seeing how it feels absolutely